Dear Charles, I'm a Catholic who struggles with severe OCD. Uh. One of the symptoms of this is intrus intrusive thoughts. Many people with OCD have them. Many of these thoughts can be blasphemous or violent. If these thoughts are unwanted, are they sinful? Can you give any advice to a Catholic with OCD or the church's position on it? Yes. Firstly, if they're, uh, if they're unwelcome thoughts, then of course they're not sinful. You know, we all get unwelcome thoughts. Uh, it's only when we entertain them that they become sinful. The delectation. The delectation. There's a word for it. Yeah. It's like deleterious. Deleterious, yeah. So like the old, <laughs> like the old fellow we were talking about used to say. Yeah, the maple syrup guy. That's the one. Yeah. Uh, but, unfortunately, OCD, ladies and gentlemen, is a very serious, serious problem. I had no idea how serious until, don't be shot, I met an OCD person. Uh, and it can be crippling. Absolutely crippling. So, my advice to you, if you've got OCD, is try and get some professional help from a good Catholic shrink. Because uh, it's not something you're going to fix on your own. It really is crippling. It's miserable. Uh, and the OCD person has the ability to make his life miserable and the lives of everybody knows miserable. So, you know, the church has uh, no position on that except try and find a good Catholic, uh, a good Catholic psychiatrist who will try to help you escape your scruples without losing your conscience, which is the big problem. But uh, it's, it's, you've got a hard road to hoe, and my heart goes out to you, and uh, everybody with OCD. It is a miserable affliction. Yeah, I, I forgot the name of the show, but I used to watch it where they had people with various OCD afflictions, and it my it, it just broke your heart. I mean, that uh, one of the, um, the 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 most difficult ones were these the hoarders. Yeah. The hoarders, they don't throw anything out, and well, that was kind of actually done uh, because of emotional trauma. You know, they had problem letting go. Well, of, a, of a family member, it's it just, uh, you it's know. Often, it's often the case. You know, and the psychologist is trying to, you know, you know, the way you get out of it is little doses of exposure to yep. the thing you're scared of. So it's like, okay, pick two items to throw out and then see how, you know, try to live with it, you know. Um, well, and see, that, that's what I can do. One, one of the most common rituals that OCD people do is the hand washing. And when uh, one of my brother's children uh, was dating an OCD person, and uh, he asked me, well, what do you think? I said, well, I think you may have a daughter-in-law who's got the cleanest hands in three counties. Yeah. And that, it can be overcome. Never despair of it. It can be overcome, but it takes work. Like anything else, it's worthwhile. Uh, do not you into it. Do not surrender. Do not throw up your hands and say, well, I'm hopeless. You're not. Uh, it may take a lot of work. And you need professional help. It is not something you would just get to wish your way out of. Unfortunately, you can't even pray your way out of it. Yeah, and I, and I don't think that's anything to be ashamed of. No. Or embarrassed. You know, there's a certain stigma. Oh, wow, this crazy person, therapist, blah, blah, blah. Gosh, I don't no. think that's anything to no. be ashamed of at, not all. at all. Not at all. Not at all. I mean, it's no worse than having a physical ailment of some kind. Uh, there's a stigma to mental illness in this country, which is kind of amazing when you consider how many mentally ill people have run the country. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I mean, you would think being mentally ill would be an act of patriotism, considering the kind of leadership we've had. But, um, well, and I continue to have, I mean, three genders. Or, let's say, legislature cooked that up, Mr. Justice Anthony Kennedy. Is it not a fair they live one? Yeah. So with so many of our ru rulership mentally ill, it should be nothing else a badge of pride. But I digress. Do not take any um, humiliation by it. Just do your best to get help and get it as quickly as you can because as soon as you start, the sooner you'll be finished. Um, every OCD person has different hang-ups. 
Uh, some of them are religious, a lot of them aren't. If your uh, particular mania is not religious, then so is some of your prayer life. If it is religious, then on top of that psych, try and find a really good confessor to help you deal. Because you just cannot do it yourself. Don't try.